Welcome to Cotton USA's latest podcast. And today we're joined by Dr. David Lewis, who's a neuropsychologist, um, to talk about some new research concerning cotton and actually all fabrics. David, tell us a little bit about this latest research. Well, we were commissioned by Cotton USA to look at the way in which people respond to different kinds of fabrics. So we recruited uh, volunteers into our laboratory. We then gave them 14 different kinds of fabrics. These range from natural fabrics, jersey, knit cotton, for example, um, bedding, linen, uh, toweling, denim, and also some man-made fibers. We had polyester, we had acetate, we had rayon. And we wired up their brains. We have a device uh, which enables us to record the electrical activity in the brain. So when you're, when you're thinking something, your brain is producing electrical activity. And that, those electrical patterns are related to what you're thinking, what you're feeling, um, what you're doing. And by analyzing these patterns, you're able to get an insight into how the brain is actually functioning at a, at a very, very deep level, particularly at a subconscious level. Because every moment of every waking day, uh, we are bombarded by billions of pieces of information um, coming from uh, the outside world, the things we see, and hear and smell and taste and touch and also internal signals signals coming from inside the body so for example how much tension different muscles are under the brain knows this it has ten sensors within the muscles which tell it this now what we did then did we got our volunteers to feel these different t types of fabric uh, and we recorded how their brains responded to the tactile sensation of the material because you know that your skin is your body's largest organ and it's, it's packed with sensors so the things you touch can have a very big effect the clothes you wear can have a very big effect on how on your, how your brain functions it can not only um, influence your emotional responses you know in certain things for example uh, a, a good quality a high quality cotton you're likely to feel more relaxed you're likely to feel more comfortable whereas a lot of man-made fabrics maybe will make you feel a bit uncomfortable perhaps a bit itchy and this will obviously play a role in not only how you feel but also perhaps how you perform and how you think you know you, the more comfortable your clothes are the more relaxed you'll be and the better you're able to actually to think straight and perform eff efficiently so we measured all this and we then had these electrical patterns which we detected in the brain we sent them to a company in malta because we're, we're not musicians we're neuroscientists and this company uses musicians um, to convert electrical patterns in the brain into musical notation. So this enabled us to derive 14 different, what we might call sonic signatures. These are specific pieces of music created by the tactile sensation of the fabrics which the people which people touch. And they varied enormously. If you listen, for example, to uh, the music the brain produces when it's feeling rayon, for example, or, or acetate, faux silk, it's it's significantly different to the pattern you get when, for example, somebody is, is touching and handling jersey knit cotton. So we were able to develop a what we would call a sonic signature, a musical note, like a signature tune for each of these fabrics. And can you tell us a bit about the, um, the different types of fabrics that were tested during the experiment? We tested 14 different types of fabrics. These ranged from poplin and royal velour. We also had some silk. And that was interesting because the silk was 100% uh, Chinese silk. So it was a very good, nice quality silk. But in fact, it produced quite a different pattern uh, of electrical activity than, for example, um, Jersey kit knit cotton. Uh, we also had some, some wool in there. We had a fine knit wool. We had rayon, shirt fabric, denim, really all the kinds of fabrics or many of the kinds of fabrics people would come across in their in their everyday life, whether it, in the form of clothing or toweling or bed linen. And we were able to then show that each of these fabrics will have a different effect on the brain. And this effect on the brain can be translated into different types of music. So David, obviously they're, they're um, very different materials there. Did you find any significant difference between natural uh, versus synthetic? Um, and about, tell me more about the actual individual sort of, I suppose, personalities of these different types of materials that were tested. Well, we certainly found a difference between the artificial, the man-made fibres and the natural fibres. So a big difference, for example, between polyester and cotton. By and large, we found that the brain activity produced by, by cotton was significantly different from, for example, something which was produced by rayon or acetate. Uh, it produced more waves, which we call alpha waves. These are waves which are subjectively associated with a feeling of relaxed alertness. So what this suggests to us is that by wearing cotton, you can actually create your 
a more relaxed state. You're not you're not sort of zonked out. You're not zoned out. You're still alert. You're still aware of the world around you. But you feel actually I I more relaxed and perhaps better able to cope with things. Whereas what we found with a lot of the uh, man-made fibers was there were a high level of much faster frequencies in the brain, what are called beta waves. And these tend to be associated with um, perhaps a, an agitation of the mind in, in some cases. So there were these differences which came about as a response to the the brain's response to the what the skin was telling the brain about the materials it was handling, the tactile response. So do you think it would be fair to um, infer from the, from the research that actually wearing cotton, if you were in a work environment which might be quite stressful, um, could potentially be a positive thing, um, just like if you were wearing cotton to, to sort of in your downtime? Would, would there be a benefit to that? It's an interesting question, and we have to bear in mind this research was conducted in a laboratory and people were in a rather unfamiliar situation. So, in a sense, you could say they were under stress, and maybe this stress is relevant to the time type of working stress people often find themselves under. And certainly under those conditions, we did find that the cotton material, they weren't wearing it, of course, they were just feeling it, they were just handling it, they were just touching it, um, did produce a much more relaxed state of mind. Now, so there may well be a physiological, a physical response which is happening in the brain. But there may also be a psychological response. You know, when people put on clothes, they don't just put on uh, something which is going to stimulate the brain through the tactile nature of the skin. They actually have an association with it. You, you know, you have a, a psychological association. So you might associate um, cotton, uh, denim, for example, jeans, if you're working in a company which has to wear, where you have to wear sort of a suit and tie and this kind of thing, you might then associate putting on jeans and a, and a cotton t-shirt um, with, with relaxation, with enjoyment, with pleasure. So just by putting those clothes on, in a sense, you'll dress up for pleasure, dress up for relaxation. If you wore them at work, it might well be that psychologically, as well as perhaps in terms of the brain activity, you were creating a, a more relaxed state. The kind of thing you might experience, for example, on, on Dress Down Friday, things like that. And in terms of um, the sort of sounds that, that, that these made, I mean, can we call them actual music? Well, they, um, they, yeah, I mean, they have the qualities of music. They, have, they are based on musical notations. They, um, you know, you can analyse them in terms of pitch, for example, and you, you can actually look at, look at the note structure of them. Uh, I think whether or not you would call them music really depends on your view about music. I think if you're, for example, a, a classical music um, so a fan you might think they were sounded very strange and they do sound strange they they sound unworldly in a sense although of course they are ba really based on the fabric of life it's obviously been a fascinating study and one that we hope that anyone listening to this will be interested in um thank you ever so much for your time today my pleasure and um thank you for listening to our cotton cast <laughs>